Hi guys! So today I'm going to be doing a tutorial of how to do the ballroom makeup. So we're going to be using in performance this Upcoming Friday. Yes, it's Upcoming Friday. Okay, so first step when you are doing the makeup is always moisturize your face. Like always put on lotion, put on chapstick, anything like that because you don't want dry skin under foundation because foundation shows everything. So just make sure you moisturize. Also, important thing is make sure you do your eyebrows, girls. I cannot stress that enough. Because I've seen so many performances of people who don't do their eyebrows, and especially if you have light, like, blonde colored hair, it's it's like you got this amazing makeup, and then there's just, there's nothing happening. It's, it's not good, trust me. So, always make sure that you have your eyebrows done, you moisturize your face, and then I will show you the eye makeup right now. So, the first thing that you guys will need with that is obviously your Morph palette. And you're going to be using this black in the corner and the shimmery purple. Make sure to do the one under it, not over. Like the brighter, lighter version of the purple. Okay, and you're going to need one of these fluffy brushes. Okay, let me see if I can find an example of a brush not to use. I guess this is a good one. Don't use a brush that's like compact like this that doesn't have like much like fluffiness on it. Always make sure it's like this. It's way easier to blend out your makeup and stuff. Like don't use like the sponges that come with like sometimes little eyeshadow things. They're, they're not good at all. Trust me. And you can also use Q-tips. I have used Q-tips before. If you have this type of brush, I would definitely recommend using this. But if you don't have that, that's okay. Use a Q-tip. Okay. So got that brush, then you're going to need tape like this, either scotch or washi tape. Do not use like duct tape or something because I do, like, so what I do with the makeup, I put the tape under my eye right here because it adds like a more sharp, like, look to the makeup and it, it just makes it look way better than just like freehanding it. So do not use something like duct tape because the skin around here is very sensitive, so... I do not want you guys hurting your eye skin like that because you could get premature wrinkles with that and no, do not do that. Okay, then last thing you'll need for the eye is eyeliner. I would recommend using one of these like felt like pen type of tips, like liquid eyeliner, especially if this is like one of your first times doing like baller makeup or just makeup in general. Liquid eyeliner is very hard to use and I've been doing makeup for years and I'm still not good at doing like liquid eyeliner and crap. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you grab the piece of tape. And one thing I always do is make sure you follow like the little eye like curve right here up with the tape. Do not like make the tape go out like this or like too high up. Always follow the curve of your eye. It is different for every eye shape, just so you know. We got that tape under. Next one. And we got that. There we go. And I love my pencil over there. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry for that pause. I forgot my concealer over there. So next thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to prime your eyelids before doing it. So I would not say to use concealer like I am. If you have an eye primer, I would definitely use that instead because most concealers are like a moisture based thing and your eyelids are very oily. So a combination of like the moisture from the concealer and then your oily eyelids will break down makeup very fast. We are only performing for like a minute and a half so I'm not too worried about the concealer. But like in future performances, like for competitions, I would definitely say to get an eye primer it'll probably be very like very much easier you just put on your eyelids like that and you can use your finger or a sponge just to dab it down like that okay awesome so you grab your palette and you get some of the black and make sure to do the eyeshadow in like small layers. Like don't use a lot of product at once because then you'll get a bunch of fallout and 
black eyeshadow is very hard to clean up with fallout but thankfully since this is black it's only like like two to three layers i would say that you have to do with it and the makeup isn't gonna look the best right now because i am i don't want to make this video too long so i am kind of rushing it but make sure for the performance you actually take your time on there because you want your stuff to still look pretty like you thought you had to do your makeup but you still want to look good with it okay and a tip with this is i would definitely do both eyes at the same time it's like the same with drawing when you're drawing an eye you do them both so you make them even and especially because i've done it many times where i do one eye shadow look and then i try to do the other eye and i forget half the colors i used with it and it's just it never turned out good so always make sure to do both the eyes at the same time and just be like constantly comparing them just make sure they look good and even because obviously like when you're on stage or on field nobody's gonna notice they're uneven but we will be taking pictures and stuff so it's more just like personal preference i always try to make mine look as even as i can but i do my eye shapes are like different eye shapes if that makes sense so my makeup can never really be that even but i always try to do that okay so i think that'll be good for now you don't have to do a super like dark with black eyeshadow you only have to do like one to two layers and you're good okay and then you take the purple and i would definitely say use a finger to put on the glitter instead of a brush because it adds on way more of a product and for me it's just easier to control so just use your finger, you dab on. Okay, just like that. Get the other eye. Okay, awesome. So we are done with the palette now. And then you can just like take your brush and just kind of like blend the purple and the black into each other but usually using your finger it kind of blends it automatically you just like fixing it up and don't be like afraid to fix up your makeup along the way if you have to like, go back a step to do something that's totally fine okay now you just take your eyeliner and everybody has a different preference of doing eyeliner for me i always like to make my wings like really long and stuff it just looks best with my eye shape a lot of it a lot of this is based off the eye shape like if you notice with my eyeshadow i always bring it up to my eyebrow because that's what looks best for me but every person is different if this doesn't look good on like if you don't think that looks good on you you can always do it different ways it works and sorry my cat just meowed at the door so if you hear meowing that's probably what it is okay now we're just gonna do our eyeliner and especially the tape helps a lot with it because you can be super messy with it you just gotta worry about one line on top being straight so that's a nice thing about this and i always get the inner corners i just do like a thin line connecting the inner corners to the outer of my eye Awesome. Now time for the other eye. But always make sure to go slowly with eyeliner because this is very hard to try and clean up. So definitely do take your time when you do like eyeliner and such. Like for the performance, I would do makeup like literally two hours before. Like I just sit there in my room with the baller makeup on for like an hour to like two hours because I just want to make sure I had enough time to do it all and make sure like it looks good. So yeah, definitely do the makeup earlier. Okay, make sure those are even, I believe so. Okay, so now we'll just wait for that to dry for a little bit. And with this video, I won't be putting on fake eyelashes because those can take a really long time and I'm still not really good at doing fake eyelashes. So I'm definitely, 
like willing to help you guys put fake eyelashes on like i put eyelashes on so many people so if you just get the entire makeup done and don't do don't do the lashes don't worry i got you i'll put them on for you but with eyelash glue i would definitely say get a brush like this and not for like the like squeeze like tube type of ones like the liquid because those are they're they just get everywhere like they're if you know like if that's all you have like that's totally okay but i would definitely get the brush if you could okay so now we just grab this and you take it off and it will be a little painful that's okay awesome and i got a little bit of fallout but you can usually just use your finger to just wipe it away just like that okay you just grab your eyeliner and you kind of just you do eyeliner under your eye and just connect it to your wing above so like that just like connecting it and especially with this you're gonna have to go slow because i've messed up so many times doing eyeliner like this okay awesome then obviously you'll just add like mascara on both and bottom lashes and then your eye and then like your fake eyelashes always make sure you do mascara before it's way easier to put on fake eyelashes when you have like that layer of mascara okay sorry i know i'm kind of going a little fast with the video if you have any questions like don't hesitate to like text me about it or anything because i am going fast with the video so sorry about that but the makeup is pretty basic so it's just like kind of like an example of how to do it. Here I can get up close. And yeah, it's not like perfect right now, obviously, because I am rushing it, but that's okay. Okay. So with the next part of the video, I'm going to be doing like showing you guys how I do like my foundation, contour, all that jazz. But you don't have to watch that part of the video if you don't want to. Mostly just concerned about the eye and obviously having like the right lipstick, the broadest berry, I believe that's what it's called. But if you've never, like, put on, like, a full face, like, foundation, blush, contour, then I would recommend watching the next part of the video. So, I'm going to be showing you how I do that. But if you don't need that video, then great. Do you. The entire foundation thing is mostly all, like, preference and crap. So, okay. See you in a few seconds. Okay. This is... Stop it. Oh, my gosh. This is the foundation part of the video. Sorry, this is my cat that's moving at the door. This is Charlie if you want to know but yeah i'm gonna be doing the foundation part of the video so sorry about that like i said at the beginning make sure to moisturize your face stuff like that put on chapstick anything is good wash your face make sure it's clean and not like all gross and grubby and stuff okay so the first thing is that you grab your foundation just put a little on your hand Always start with like with blush foundation, then more that you need because I definitely always done too much foundation and it doesn't look good. So you should do that. Okay. And I always use a brush to kind of dab around the foundation first and then I go in after with a sponge to kind of like push it into your skin and make it smoother. So that if, like the brush is mostly mostly just to like spread it around and stuff it doesn't have to look perfect it's gonna look streaky right now until i go in with the sponge later also make sure to get it down your neck as well because you want it to do a nice little fade because if your foundation is not like your exact color like that's how mine is mine is a little bit more like a yellowish tint to my skin while mine is more of like a pinkish okay you just dab it make sure if you have like a sponge you can use either a sponge or a brush that's just how i always put on my foundation but if you do have a sponge make sure not to streak it like this you have to dab it in it does take a while to do but it always looks better doing that in the end now also along with like putting it down your neck also put it in your hairline 
like that. Do, do, do. And that'll kick. Awesome. So the next thing is, this is like an optional thing I have to do, but I have a greasy like face and putting foundation on always makes it like way shiny. You can kind of see right now. So I always go in with just like a light powder. I just like powder the different parts. You don't have to do like the whole um, like baking thing. Like if you've ever seen makeup tutorials and stuff, like people always say, oh, like put powder under and bake your face for like five to 10 minutes. Honestly, you don't really have to do that because if you're somebody who has a very dry face, then baking just makes it even more drier and it just doesn't help you at all. It just makes your makeup honestly look worse. But for me, since I have an oily face, I could do that. But honestly, just dabbing in powder like this is fine. You don't have to do that whole baking thing. Okay, so I added all the powder. Now my foundation is mostly matte. So this is when we're going to be going in with either bronzer or contour. So contour is, if you want to like know the difference, contour is more of like, it could either be like a liquid or a powder, but it's more of like a gray, grayish tone to it. It's more of like to add a shadow while bronzer, this is like my bronzer is, this is like making your face look more tan. It does still add like that contour effect of like making your cheekbones pop. But I always use bronzer and not contour but you can use either, it doesn't really matter. This is just a thing I got, so I always use this. And with bronzer, make sure to always start with a little bit of, a little bit of a time, you don't want to overboard it. And you always do the bronzer kind of like on your cheekbone, you're basically almost doing it on your cheekbone. You still go under, but don't do like all the way down. Make sure to do up, because you want to like lift up your face. And when you're doing the bronzer, make sure you do the same thing as like with your eyes, you're constantly checking both sides, make sure they're even. Cause you don't want uneven like face makeup and stuff because it's definitely, since you're basically with bronzer, the contour and stuff, you're like reshaping your face. So if you don't want to like reshape your face unevenly. Yeah, make sure to just keep going and I made that side a little too dark and if you do make your side a little dark you can just take your sponge kind of just like dab over it that usually helps with it sorry I just don't know what that little dot is that's annoying me okay that's fine I am not the best at contouring, just letting you guys know. That's always something I've always been pretty bad at because I usually just do blush instead of contour. Like, I don't know if, like, Mikkel and Julia are making this a rule. They get to do both. I've heard some people say you can either do contour or blush. Some people have you do both. It matters what those two want it to be. I would say do either, but completely up to them they're the ones in charge of the costumes and stuff i'm just here helping so okay and then i'm adding some bronzer to the top of my forehead now but if you are a person who has like a lower like hairline and stuff you don't have to add bronzer on top because this just makes your forehead look smaller and you wouldn't want your forehead to look too small but if you're like me i got a big forehead so i always add bronzer up here and also still making it in your hairline just like that and also under your cheekbones and I've heard some people call this like the I don't remember if it's like the 3e method or something but it's basically like you're making the shape of like a e and a three and stuff so you're just going with the contour, do, do. Just like that. Then make sure to just keep blending it. You're just, if it doesn't turn out like you like, just 
keep blending. That's all I can really say. And yeah, I always use like fluffy brushes like this. It just always makes it way easier to use something fluffy than more compact. Okay. Awesome. So we are done with the bronzer. And now after that, you can grab your concealer if I can find it. Yeah, I always just put it like in the corners right here. And also, if you're a person who likes contouring your nose, you can definitely do that. I personally don't really contour my nose. It's not something I've ever done. But if you want to contour your nose, go for it. You just do up the concealer. Okay. Just like that. And if you are like putting on a concealer and you kind of cover your, like your little eyeliner bits, you can always just go in with the eyeliner again. Just cover it. Just make sure to like be checking your face that you don't have any like uneven patches or you don't have any like blended parts. Just always make sure like your makeup is blended. Okay. And now you're gonna be taking your blush. You just gotta do a cute little smile and put it on your cheeks. Okay, and blush also is like a sort of a thing that like um, reconstructs your face, like same as contour. So like if you don't like putting blush right here and you just put blush up there, then that's totally up to you. It matters what do you think it looks best. I always do it on my cheeks and I also like doing blush on my nose and kind of going down kind of like for that sun-kissed look. But this is just how I always do my blush. But everybody can have different ways of doing their face, like same with contour, blush, literally anything. This is just what I always do. Then I always put, just put some on my chin and up here. Just kind of like at the high points of your face. Okay, awesome. Now the last thing is, the other required thing that we need is the lipstick. Let's grab this. Awesome. And then you just take your finger, just kind of get it off the inner edges of that so you don't get it on your teeth while you're smiling. And there we go. There is the makeup, the whole look. Make sure you got your eyebrows, got your eyeshadow, lipstick, your face, blush, contour. Just make sure you got all those things. Obviously, I'm probably gonna be spending way more time doing all these. I'm just kind of trying to do it fast so I don't make the video like an hour long, but makeup usually does take me like an hour, at least like for the baller makeup. So, here's the entire thing. And if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask me because I know I was going a little fast with a lot of like the steps. So, please, yeah, do not hesitate to ask me and I can appreciate Charlie in the background. Okay, but yeah, I'm excited for the performance. It's Friday, guys. We're gonna do amazing. Literally, just don't freak out about it. Just have confidence in yourself. We're gonna do amazing. Okay, love you all. Bye.